Okay, I'll be honest. I only picked up this read because I wanted to go see the movie. Yeah. Hi guys, it's April and today I'm gonna do this review the same way I do all of my other reviews. I'm gonna have the non spoilery section up front followed by the spoiled fill dumped afterwards in case you don't wanna spoil yourself. Otherwise, feel free to stick around for as long as you want. I'm just super excited that you're here and you're willing to listen to like random words that come out of my mouth because sometimes I, I don't even wanna listen to random words that come out of my mouth. So Sandcastle by Frederick Peters and Pierre Oscar Levy is a graphic novel about a family who goes to the beach and then ultimately things start going very, very weird. This is the basis for the movie Old. So once I saw that that movie was coming out and it was based on this graphic novel, I decided to pick it up to see what the source material was like. Now, if you like very bizarre science fiction stories, you'll probably like this read. This goes off in a very interesting direction and you don't get a lot of answers and it's left very open to interpretation. I don't mind that. I love that in stories such as Annihilation and The Hollow Places. I love that kind of science fiction that while you're first getting into it, you're very frustrated about the fact that you're not getting a lot of a lot of information. You're left wondering about a lot of different things. But then you kind of get this chance to sit there and think about it. And then as time goes on, you start to empathize and rationalize and kind of pick apart the story even more. And so I love that kind of storytelling. And this story here, Sandcastle, I did enjoy that aspect of the storytelling. However, I did not particularly enjoy the art style that was used in this story. It is an adult graphic novel. There is a lot of nudity. There's a lot of sexualization and that kind of thing. Of course, it is a little bit horror-esque. So go into that knowing those things. You don't get to see a lot of the graphic stuff and that's fine, that's good. But you do see a lot of nudity, which if you're okay with that, you're okay with that. Go be you. But the style itself, we have this black and white kind of sketchy, not necessarily grunge, but rough art style that I don't particularly enjoy. And the way some of the characters were depicted, choices were made, wasn't my favorite. As for the actual characters, the plot, the writing and all that, I, I struggled a little bit with some of uh, the voices of some of the characters. Given what is happening in the story, it is hard to believe that some of these thoughts and words and dialogue would come out of these characters. I, <laughs> I don't want to spoil it in case you do want to get into this story, but there, there is an aspect of the story in which it morphs and changes some of the characters. And I have a hard time believing how the voices flow through those characters as all of this is going down. But some of the things that these characters have to go through in a very quick amount of time is very interesting to see because you get to see this play on character dynamic and how it affects a lot of different things. And so that is my favorite part of this storyline and the thought of what, what it's viewing here. We have this connection to sandcastles that from the very beginning we have a sandcastle and then through the story we have certain things that happen with this sandcastle and new sandcastles and then it ends with a sandcastle. And I, I love that tie-in and so it kind of plays back into what the title of this book is and I like it for that. Now overall, I this is a middle of the road read for me. I, I struggle, like I said, with some of the character choices and the art style, but I do like what they were trying to do with this story. So if you like the odd and bizarre science fiction and open-ended storytelling, you'll probably like this book. 
However, this is the point in my review in which I am going to switch over to the spoiled filled thoughts. And uh, if you want to go into this read blind on what everything is going on, I suggest you leave now or forever hold your peace. I hinted at this in my non-spoiler section that I struggled with some of the characters. And this specifically was the younger characters because we have this whole concept in this story where these people are rapidly aging for some unknown reason. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what to do about it. They're trying to solve this and they realize they've only got a set amount of time. I struggled with the children and <sighs> while bodies can rapidly age and things could possibly happen like that, part of our brain development is because of experience. We don't innately know a lot of knowledge. We don't innately know a lot of language, I think is is more of what I'm getting at. There are some instinctual stuff like reproduction. And so I'm, I'm not necessarily going that realm because I can kind of understand how two of these rapidly growing kids came together and had a kid. But to me, mentally, the way some of them developed and the way they were able to be completely adult-like without some kind of language learning in the process. I struggled with that. They had a lot of concepts that they didn't have to learn that were just suddenly there. And I, I struggle with that because we have a, a lot of different disorders and a lot of different diseases that kind of proves that the brain is its own special organ that you don't just suddenly become an adult thinker. There are pathways and connections that have to be made to get to that point. And because of the way their cells were rapidly aging, some of those wouldn't have been able to be made. So I believe mentally they would have been a little more stunted than they were portrayed here. I do, I do love the ending and how gut-wrenching it kind of was when you start to think about it after reading it because we had this family and a couple other people who came to this beach and they expected another normal day at the beach like they've had before in the past, but suddenly, for whatever reason, they can't leave and they're aging extremely fast. So they're dealing with what happens when you age. So you've got Alzheimer's, you've got other different diseases and things like that, and then old age inevitably sits in and they've, for every half hour, you have a year taken away from you. And so by the end, by the end of the story, everybody is passed away except for the little girl who had actually been born on the beach. And you know, ultimately by the end of that day, she's going to be gone again. And these people are, are not, their story is completely over. There's no way for it to continue. There's no way for this child to carry on her family legacy because A, she doesn't know her family because she's only been around them for maybe I don't know, 12 hours. And most of that was spent sleeping. And then she has no other human interaction after everybody has passed away and they're just on this beach. And maybe it's just the point in life that I am. It's, it's kind of gut-wrenching to think about our legacies and how the future is going to progress as we continue to age and what all of those different aspects mean. And as I got further away from the read, I just kind of started processing that a little bit more. And I think that was my greatest takeaway from this story right here is just the aging process and what that means for our families, both before and after us. And most of the time, we don't get to see it condensed like this. We have a long period of time, so we feel like we have forever in reality. We really, really don't. And I know this just got like really deep and really dark very, very quickly. But that, that I think is the greatest part of this storytelling. Take away all the things that I really tripped up on. Take away the art style that I am not a huge fan of. That is a huge thing. And the fact that I'm still thinking about it says something. So those are my thoughts on this story. I would love to hear what you guys think. Otherwise, if you want to see more content like this, 
subscribe down below, hit that bell, do all of those things to get all of those notifications. And I am going to do a comparison kind of ish between Sandcastle and Old the movie over on the That's So Comical channel. So I will link that down below in case you are interested in viewing further discussion on this storyline. And of course, as always, I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.